Okay, I welcome everyone again to this episode of another exciting uh, learning opportunity. Okay, let's go. My name is Manfosi Gideon. Uh, please kindly subscribe, share most of our videos, to encourage us on our YouTube channels. Um, today we're looking at in a very fast note or tit derivatives. You now the useful next the the importance of this uh, filter in magnetic data interpretation. Um, we've actually used this in one of our recent work, and we we'll find that it's well, uh, it's, uh, it's an interesting filter in terms of uh, um, shallow uh, mapping of structures. Uh, this uh, you are going to be looking at introduction. This contains introduction, um, the understanding the, of two derivatives, the significance of this, then the relevance in mineral exploration and the case study where we've actually used this in lithium exploration, actually to map the pegmatites. Then we'll be concluding and showing you also some reference, some references. So as we just said, um, the exploration of subsurface structures actually um, and the mineral resources is very important when it comes to, you know, um, geological and geophysical investigation. And among all that that took, um, these have become very interesting in the sense that they can actually um, uh, be very much effective in mapping shallow basement structures and also um, identifying some distinct, um, uh, some distinctive uh, um, anomalies, you know, in mineral exploration. Also, when this is actually used in conjunction with total um, horizontal derivatives, it provides a very crucial insight into how well the distribution of magnetic intensity are, and also it can help you in identification and elimination of every other subsurface uh, geological structures. Then if you look at this, um, when we're talking about T derivative, it is actually computed uh, using the first vertical and total horizontal derivatives. If you are using our uh, axis montage, you understand what I'm saying. And it is sure the one of the major components of that application. So if you want to compute your tilt derivatives, it just um, is defined as uh, the rate of change of the total magnetic intensity with respect to the vertical coordinates, that is the vertical, that is the Z um, depth. Why also the total horizontal derivatives, which is the THDR, is, is, is calculated at the square root of, of the sum of the square root of the rate of the change of all the total magnetic intensity with respect to the or X and Y. So, Mathematically, you can say that it is obtained through a tangent of the ratios of the first vertical derivatives to the total horizontal derivatives. So that is just the field. Then in terms of its significance, it is very, very significant in mapping shallow basement structures. We've tried this and we we'll find out that it's very significant and most of the time it delineates the boundaries as very clear as any other thing. So when it comes to shallow basement structures, it often plays a very vital role in geological characteristics of that area. And also you can utilize it, you know, to gain an insight in different variations of magnetic intensity that actually cause as a result of shallow um, uh, structures. Also, this can be used in identifying subtle changes in magnetic field, especially when it's caused by shallow basement structures. And this will also help you to map out the extent of those boundaries. Uh, we're going to show you what actually the ones we actually mapped out. So when it comes to the relevance in mineral exploration, it can never be overemphasized because one is very crucial when it comes to identifying potential mineral deposits and also it can provide some kind of a comprehensive understanding of distribution of magnetic intensity and also in identification of anomalies. This is very, very important. And finally, you can also use it in magnetic resolution um, of different anomalies, and also it will help you to um, delineate precisely some um, some potential mineral exploration targets. See, um, this in conjunction with some other ones. This is a uh, this is T derivatives horizontal of T derivatives. You can see if you look at this, um, you can see that the very uh, Outstanding northeast trending structures that are the criss cutting structures along this line. 
So you might not really understand this using this alone, but if you try to we'll combine other other ones, say the tilt derivative itself. Have you seen the tilt derivative? So you can see that the tilt derivatives actually map out these structures very continuously from here. So this is the real primary structures within this location. Now, not only that, if you look at this, when you combine this, if you combine this, these two derivatives, then this horizontal derivatives, you can see the same thing appear there, but the horizontal derivatives actually map out a boundary within the northwest, a kind of north-south direction. You see? So, now what we've actually done here is that we've been able to get um, have a not this trending structures that are very clear. Let me remove these that are very clear with this. You see? They are very, very clear. And we'll have under crisscutting structures here. Now, having understood the geology of this area and some of the projections we've made from already existing some of the existing structures, we're able to determine that this particular, you know, um, uh, structures here need to be profiled. You know, so when this was actually profiled, you can see the profile lines. The profile lines were actually we done. What we did was to actually go and profile this. We did about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. These are the inspection of about 200 meters. And each of the lines here is about 700 meters, 700 to 500 meters. As the case may be, in order to cover these actually structures. At the end of the day, we're able to map this pegmatite, pegmatite vein that is actually carrying the lithium deposit in that area. You can see. We're able to map all this. So you can see that they form within the corridor. That is the target zone. This is the target zone that was actually developed using the tilt derivatives and the horizontal derivatives. You can see it. So we're able to, able to define this zone as the target zone. And that was actually very, very handy and was very interesting in terms of uh, you know, mapping these structures. So that is just what the, the significance and some of the importance of this filter. So I think it's something that you can always use whenever you want to map some shallow um, basement structures. I think is something that one can actually use when it comes to the application of steel derivatives in conjunction with the total horizontal derivatives. It serves as a valuable tool in mapping shallow basement structures and identifying potential mineral exploration targets, just as we've just done in that uh, location. So by leveraging the, the TDR and its associated derivatives, one can obtain a comprehensive understanding of the subsurface geological features and also, this will actually help you to make some informed decision. Then we now go to ground truth and you'll be able to get um, your profile lines, get to understand um, the kind of um, structures that are actually in that location. And that is actually handy in, you know, in mineral exploration. So don't actually um, forget to subscribe once again. You have to share so that we'll keep bringing you this. And we'll have some also some relevant uh, references in terms of uh, this uh, topic. You can check the Miller, HG, and Sen. Um, you can also check the <coughs> that of uh, Thorstein. Um, that is 1997. A few these are just some, some few references, and you can check some other um, a lot of other things. Thing. And also contact also other application. They're very interesting and um, reference. Guys. So,